Okay, so this is part two of um, me replacing these bushes, um, these roll bar bushes. I'm just going for a standard set um, replacement. Um, basically, I'm doing both sides because it's always good to do two sides of anything to do with suspension or pretty much anything. You know, if it's uh, just one side, do the other one too. Anyway, um, so I'm filming this side because I um, just wanted to get this done a bit quicker. Um, because uh, the other side took a little while, but not too bad. But so what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to undo that front bolt there and loosen off the back one there. Um, I've hit them with some uh, plus cast already, so they should uh, come off reasonably okay. Now to get them off, get them off, I need a 10 mil um, flexible headed spanner, um, ratchet head. Um, so that should do the trick nice. Okay, so with that uh, with that one bolt removed, just, uh, just what I should do now, um, just jack up the uh, jack up the wishbone. Okay. So that's uh, that's lifted it off the subframe now. So it's giving me a little bit of space to then um, push it out, or pull it out, whatever. Um, so just noticing the uh, split in the actual uh, rubber itself, it's facing towards the front, just as it is on the other side. So um, you should reorient it in that uh, that way. There's only one way you can really put them in anyway, because um, they're, they're, they're well, they've got orientation bumps on them. So I'll show you that in a sec. So let me just show you the differences between the two. Um, that's your new one, and that's your old one there. See the difference? That one's nice and firm. It's straight. That one's all been bent up and twisted and wrecked over the years. These have never been changed since new, so these are 15 year old bushes. Um, no, because um, these just these were just compressed so flat. Um, they just fitted in and out straight away like that, you know, they just slid in and out, whereas these, um, they'll need to be greased up or, or um, I'll use a bit of washing up liquid on the other side. And they'll actually sit in the clamps like that, because they're so thick. And then you'll need to clamp them down so they're flat like that. Now, it's a bit of a trick, because basically you don't want to take the back, you don't want to take the back one out. Um, unless you'll have uh, all sorts of trouble with it, getting it back in. Um, so what I did on the other side was to um, fit the rubber to the, to the clamp, um, well fit the rubber to the bar and then the clamp to the rubber and then um, manipulated it into place having this side um, of the uh, clamp ready to, to drop into place and slide back into the pin, uh, into the bolt. Um, but. Uh, it's difficult to show you without two hands. And you just obviously have two hands to show you, but but yeah, so that's that's what I did um, on the other side. Um, but at the moment, I mean the, the bar's movable, so at least you can manipulate it around a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what I did. I, I pulled the bar forward and then fitted the clamp. Um, the rubber over the bar, the clamp over the rubber, and then put put it on as best I could, and then moved it back so it slid over the actual bolt like that. If that makes sense. So if you just imagine the rubber is actually already in there, and I've manipulated it in, and then you slide the actual bar back, and that that will then give you your space to then rebolt. Okay, better get on with it. And so like I said, I fitted the um, the rubber onto the into the bar. focus and then I fitted the clamp over to the well, over the rubber and then I can um, actually manipulate see there you go I'll just double check yeah that's actually that. clamped that's now sat in its bolt um, so all I need to do now is just manipulate this down 
drop the uh, drop the jack to allow it to, to float back down as close to the actual bolt hole as possible on this side and then re-bolt. That's it. Okay. Let's drop this drop this wishbone down. Still need to um, to pull pull the clamp over and down as far as possible to allow it to uh, be, uh, meet near its bolt hole. Um, it's a bit of a stretch, but it does work. Yeah, so it needs a bit of a prodding around just to get it to sit properly. That's it. So that's the, uh, the bolt back in there. And what you can do is just grab hold of the drop link and just. And you can just level it up like that by just pulling the drop link around a little bit. There you go. Get a little bite hold on it, bolt it back down as tight as possible. That's it. 